Hi everyone, it's Nancy Bastine and we are going to make some paste paper today. I got this inspiration and this knowledge of how to do it from Barb Owens on how to create with Barb Owens. I'm taking a drink. So, this is what you're going to need to make paste paper. First of all, you're going to need some dead water, which is distilled water, and I got it in a gallon jug, and it's mixed up with paste, and it's down the basement. But I have it in here. I put some in this little container, which is, it says my hummingbird nectar, but it really is, and it's paste. And it comes like this paper mache mix and it's powder and this is eight fluid ounces and this powder makes a gallon of paste and it'll keep for a long time if you use distilled water I call it dead water that means everything's been taken out of it so I'm keeping this jar so I show you what it is um, I got this at I tried Joann's and they did not have it in their store. I tried Michael's and this is what they had. I did not go to Hobby Lobby. Those are my three craft stores around here. So anyway, you need you can either use this or you can use wallpaper paste, but be careful when you use wallpaper paste because it may have other chemicals in it that are not so good. And also, you can use liquid starch, which I don't have any of that to show you. And then you're going to need paper, and we'll go over the paper in a minute. And you're going to need marking tools. I have a few marking tools out here. This is a old brush. Uh, thing my husband used to use to play drums and I've never used it but I thought it would make some good marks maybe they're metal um, these brushes are metal on here so he gave these to me so I thought we would use those I have some bubble wrap and I have these this came in with my beads when I bought the beads to make to melt and make the striped beads uh, you can put the beads on here and then iron them with the iron. But these little things came in there, so I thought this might be fun. And then I have some catalyst tools. These are Martha Stewart. These are from uh, catalyst from a art store here. I don't know if you can buy the paper paste at the art store. I never tried there. I might look into that and see because that's real close to me. And then these are the Martha Stewart markers, okay? Now you're going to need... I have a pile of paper here. Just a pile of paper so that you can work on it plus you can whatever you need to do on it. You're going to need foam brushes for this technique. These work the best. Uh, I think I'm going to need a couple more. These have been soaking. Let's see if, if the paint come out of these. Let me check them. If not, I have others. So you'll need foam brushes, and you're going to need paint. So I have my foam brushes, I have my paints, and you're going to need sticks to stir your paint with. I'm going to set this on the floor. Oh, no, I'm not because I'm going to mix one up with you in a minute here. 
then I bought this container to hold my cups. You're going to need these disposable cups to, uh, and it's just easier if you have them sitting close to you and in a container so they don't tip over and make a mess because that would be terrible. So I have already some paints mixed up. Uh, some de mo all of them are deco art. Uh, some metallics. Most of them are top metallics and a couple aren't. So I'm going to show you how to mix this. So you take your disposable cup and these are like I think the nine ounce these are nine ounce cups they're not so they'll fit in here you're gonna take your paste paper or water that's mixed up and shake it up stir it up a little bit before you pour it and I'm gonna pour about maybe a fourth of an inch. Let's see. Yeah, that's good. I'm going to sit this out of my way. And hopefully Belle doesn't get into it. She might get her tongue stuck together. Also, I have a cart to my side. I just bought this at Target. It's a it's called a bar cart, and you'll need a place to dry your paper. So I just bought this cart. I'm going to use it for other things. Okay, this is um, the metallic deco art metallic teal. I'm going to put that in here, and you just want to pour a glob in there. Just pour some in there. If it's not dark enough, you can always add more and stir it up with your stir stick and mix it up so you have about I can't show you about oh I don't know that much paint about that much paint that much paint in there about that much paint and your glue water your paste water, paper paste, paper water paste, whatever. Okay. So, I'm going to clean my stick off. Alrighty. So now you need papers. And I did these papers with my stencils and my dilution inks okay i just took them outside on my picnic table took my favorite stencils out there and just started stenciling away just putting them down and stencil flip them over go to the next one you know it was warm outside so they dried immediately some of these are deco arts and some are not they're dilutions, and the ones that are dilutions are going to run, but that's okay. And so anyway, so you just take your favorite papers and do your stenciling on them first. Let those dry. These have been dry for about a couple of days. And then I had some... Um, uh, deli paper that I had done. So we're going to work on some of that. There's just a few pieces of deli paper. And, okay, that's, I think I've explained everything to you. What we're going to do, how we're, what you need. If there's any questions, please leave me comments and I'll try to answer them. I think I've explained everything that you're going to need. If I didn't, we'll, I will as we go along. Okie dokie. So I'm going to set those off to the side. I'm going to make space here on the top of my table. And 
I'm going to set my paints. I'm going to give each one of these a stir and then clean my stick off. Just, just because I think they need a stir. And, and then you have a, this is just one of those Betty Crocker, um, containers that I bought at the dollar store and I made sure it was deep enough to uh, hold my cups of paint and then uh, when I'm finished if you haven't used all the paint you just put the lid on it and they will stay liquidified for quite a while and if you have room in your fridge, they'll even stay longer. But I don't dare put anything like this in my fridge because my husband might decide it's Kool-Aid and drink it. You never know about him. Okay, I'm going to set these. Up here. Oh, gosh. Well, I really wanted to set them so you could see how to do this. I don't quite have enough room here. My table's just not quite big enough. Okay, we're going to take one sheet. Now, you have to work pretty fast when you're doing this because it tends to uh, dry quickly and I have fans going because it's very very hot today in Cincinnati it is 99 today so I'm going to stick my brushes in let's see I think that one was in the orange that was in the green just stick my brushes in the paint so I'm ready to go hang on I need one more brush I'm short one and I have to go over here to get it. Now, paste papers are really, really nice to make, uh, book covers with. Okay, so we're gonna just don't even think about it, just go for it. And just get the color on. Like I said, you might need it a little thick. And uh, don't even think about Don't dilly-dally around because this dries up quite fast. And take one of your tools and just start making marks. Like I said, they dry up pretty fast. That one got too dry. might have to shut my fans off while I'm doing this. Okay, what the paste does is it makes it so your uh, markings don't, it keeps them apart, they don't float back together and that's what it looks like so you want to set that over to dry doesn't take long and hit the neck go to the next one
And I love bright, happy colors. Now, if you're um, paper curls after it's dry, then you can just use a um, iron. iron it. Now that didn't do too good, but let's see what one of these will do. Can't see that either, but it's making marks somewhat. The catalyst tools seem to work the best. So we'll do that, set it over to dry, and go to the next one. Let's do a deli paper. not doing anything. the next one and you just keep on doing it just keep on going and you're probably going to wear most of the paint and uh, turn my little paint thing around here so I figure that the catalyst tools are the ones that are doing the best I'm going to try this next and see what that what that does here Not much. It dried up too fast. Like I said, you got to put it on thick and work fast. going to do this you might as well do a bunch of them because it goes by fast and plus you don't want your mess again because it is quite a messy process
continue on. That's all I'm going to be doing is pasting, pasting papers. Making paste paper. Ooh, I like that color. That's a berry color. Okay, just move on. Like I said, you have to work fast. So it's one of those that you can't think about what you're going to do. You just have to slap the paint on and move out. Pretty, huh? And I hope they don't all stick together. Oh well, if they do. doesn't seem to be doing anything. Well, that seems to be smearing it around and making marks. No brain. No brainer. Oh, I keep sliding off of my my donut I have to sit on. All right, this paper is getting a little mucked up, so I'm going to move that off and get another one. That's why you just need a pile of these. And you just keep on going. I like this stencil. This is the Deco Art stencil. It's dan called Dandelions. Maybe we'll make mud. What do you think? I 
don't care if it makes mud or not. This one doesn't work as well. Oh well. It'll all come out in the wash. Let's do this one. This orange is called Flaming Orange, and it sure is Flaming Orange. Oh, that's not doing anything. Alrighty, I'm liking that. I'm liking that one a lot. This one's Josie's stencil. That she sent me from, and I I think this is Dilutions ink. I'm not sure if it is or not. Boy, we've gone from a cold spell, cold rainy, to a heat, uh, and they put out heat warnings today. Because when I went to Target, it was at 99. Now it's a little warm. And that's got yellow mixed in it. Oh well, I don't care. Make mud. Let's make mud. <laughs> <laughs> 